Welcome back for more tips and tricks for PlayStation. In this video, I'm going to show you a very common mistake you should avoid that can actually ruin your PS4 controller. If you're one of the many users who currently has a PlayStation 4, there's one thing you should never do if you want your DualShock 4 to last as long as physically possible. Because in case you didn't know, a replacement PS4 controller isn't exactly cheap. But if you simply follow this very basic rule, you can potentially save yourself a lot of money. As someone who's personally owned a PlayStation 4 since it first released, least, I can honestly say I wish I knew this a lot sooner. So make sure to leave a like rating on the video, hit the subscribe button if you're brand new to the channel, and we'll go ahead and get started. If you have a PS4 controller, the number one thing you should never do is charge the controller using a USB wall charger, more specifically the fast charging adapters. Believe it or not, charging your controller using a USB wall adapter is a lot more common than you might think. And it wasn't until I put a decent amount of research into the topic that I realized just how many people with multiple controllers will often result to alternative methods to charge them, one of the more convenient methods being the smartphone USB wall adapter. Unfortunately, many users don't know that doing this can significantly reduce the overall lifespan of the battery pack, and in some cases, it can actually fry the controller, making it almost useless. The exact reason why this happens isn't fully confirmed, but the general understanding is that the battery pack inside the DualShock 4 is incompatible with adaptive charging and very sensitive to high voltage, meaning that connecting your controller to anything above the standard 5 volts could negatively impact the controller long term. The first signs of this happening are the controller's light bar no longer working, wireless functionality becomes unusable, and the controller will need to be plugged in at all times in order to work. If you insist on using a wall adapter to charge your PS4 controller, you should mitigate the risks by using one that is not labeled as a fast charger. I recommend you always check the volts on the adapter just in case to make sure you won't cause any damage. For example, this charger from Sony lists 5 volts as the standard output, whereas this adaptive charger from Samsung lists both 5 and 9 volts. If you're going to charge your controller using a USB wall adapter, then you want the standard voltage to list 5 volts only. Simply following this very basic rule could potentially save you from ruining a perfectly good PlayStation 4 controller. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful or at least interesting, make sure to leave a like rating, comment below to let me know what you think, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys next week. Peace!